Let's make a few easy peasy lemon decor today. For the first one, I'm going to make some lemon slices or lemon wedges. These can be used for decor and can be the basic decor craft supply to begin our crafts today. So I took a cardboard thin slice piece of cardboard and I've got circular disc out of them, three of them and I took some yellow soft yellow cardstock paper and I have cut out the same size circular disc out of it. I'm going to glue this cardstock paper on top of the cardboard paper to get a strong base for this lemon slice. Next I'm going to play with little colors. I'm using dark green, light green and black to make my lemon slice more colorful and more evident. So using the darker green on the border then putting in details using the lighter green and finally seeds with the black. I use two shades of green that gives a little depth and more interest and it looks really pretty when two different shades, all the shades merge together, they look really pretty. So I have these three slices of lemon, they look really cute, especially the ones with the four lemon seeds they look like buttons and i find them really cute the third one i purposefully made six seeds three on each side because i'm going to cut it using scissors into two halves so there's going to be half sliced or half batches of lemon i'm going to use them in my decor diys today they look so cute and so refreshing Now if you remember this is a decor sign, lemon decor sign. I made a few videos back. I'm going to use the same design uh, technique here. I'm going to take a jar sign, cover it with white color and then just add a corrugated piece of cardboard in shape of the lid. That is going to be the base. So this is my basic structure of my jar with a corrugated lid on top. I'm just going to take one of the half slice lemon and stick it in the bottom corner such that it appears to be inside the bottle. Then I'm writing down some words here using black color. I'm writing when life gives you lemons, add sugar. Now you will observe that I do make mistakes when I do freehand writing but it's okay. I like that it is freehand, it's handmade, it has an authentic look. but. When you make mistakes, cover it up with little style. <laughs> now you also observe that while I was writing the words, I covered the place with two fingers because I want to add a little bow there. So I have cut out little thin strips of paper in beautiful soft green and some yellow patterned paper and I cut them in bow kind of shape, long bow kind of shape. I'm going to bunch them together and glue them together to form a little bow and stick it on this corner and curve the edges, the free edges of the bow so that it gets a 3D flower kind of look and it looks really pretty on this side. Then I'm using another of this lemon cut out that I have and I'm going to stick it onto the lid to give it a little more, you know, uh, make the shape a little more interesting and I think this is a pretty jar, pretty lemon decor for display. Now these are the blocks that I made again some videos back for spring decor itself. These are white blocks or painted white blocks over which I had decoupaged a soft green printed tissue paper. And I have four of such ones and I'm going to use some black color pen and give it the lemon vibes to it. So I'm just uh, writing the word, spelling it out lemon here using black color pen. It's easier to work with color pens and just writing individual alphabets in each and giving a number to give it that scrabble or word building blocks look. I can proudly say that I tend to recycle a lot of my decor in home, crafts at home. Wherever possible, I tend to recycle and reuse things in my real life too. 
So this is another recycling my craft project. If you enjoyed the content of today's video, please give this video a thumbs up and put down your comments. I love reading them. And if you're new here and like budget DIYs and content of my channel, do consider subscribing and also hit the all notifications bell and stay updated with all my videos. And thank you so much, my old friends. Your support, your encouragement is so precious to me. So here I have made them all L-E-M-N. The O is missing. For O, I took another white block here. And I have cut out a little edging in a soft green paper, color paper, and it looks like an edge of grass here. And I'll stick it to the bottom here. Then I'll stick one of the circular button looking lemon slice in this. Now it spells out correctly L E M O N, and it looks really pretty and cute lemon decor. Now this is a circular flat sign that can be used as a door hanger or even on shelves and vignettes. Now I've already covered it in white and then I've taken a cardstock paper in soft yellow color and cut out a circular shape out of it which is much smaller than my white circular plaque sign base. I'm just folding it to get an idea where the center is and then I'm cutting wedges out of it. These are random wedges, some smaller, some bigger, it doesn't matter. Some I've just kept it broad and just joined, partially cut also. I've just rounded the base, broader base portion and kept the tip towards the center very sharp. After I've cut these wedges out, I'm going to place them, adjust, space them out and then just glue them here and I have the perfect wedge slice of lemon coming up, a slice of lemon coming up. I'm using this light green color to highlight the periphery or the boundary of the block and also make it look like the rind of my lemon slice. I'm using black pen to write my word hi. If you have cutouts like welcome, hello or anything you want to write here, if you have such cutouts, signs already with you, word signs, you can use them here. Then again, like my previous DIY, I took some strips of colorful paper and made a bow which I'm going to stick here. I'll see if it looks good in the white portion or the yellow portion and just stick it there. Then I'm going to curl the edges to give it more 3D look. Now to define it further, I'm using light green color to form the seeds inside or the peeps inside. I'm not using black here because I want the word high to stand out. Now this thing can be propped against a plate stand and used in vignettes or shelves or one can just add a ribbon loop at the back and use it as a door hanger or a ward hanging. For this DIY I took three books from my bookcases. These are old yellowed books and in the same dimensions such that they stack up beautifully together. Now I never destroy my books therefore I took some colored paper and cut them to the size so that they can form the sleeves for the books. So I put on the sleeves on the books, stack them together and I have this lovely stack of books in the color theme, lemon color theme or any seasonal decor that I want. So I'm using some soft yellows and very soft nearly white green for the stack of books. Stack them together and then I'm using two different color shades of green uh, satin ribbons and I'm going to tie this stack of books together. Make some bows on the top so that the green stripes are seen all around the stack of books. And then write the words, squeeze the day using black color pen on the rim or the spine of the book. 
My today's DIYs are part of the Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy DIY Challenge that is being hosted by Brenda from the channel Mona's Market. I'll put a link to Brenda's channel and to the playlist down in my description box for more lemon themed and summer decor DIYs. And a lovely stack of book decor in lemon theme is ready for any vignette, tear tray or shelf. This is a garland you have seen so many times in my videos that I made long time back using white, green and wooden beads and has a jute tassel in the end. I switch it for seasons and different themes of decor. I put it together to form a full loop and then I'm using this button like lemon slice which I'm going to stick it here using some tape and it is ready for lemon themed seasonal summer spring decor. Let's get on to the final reveal. I'll put my DIYs, lemon DIYs of today together and decorate a space and I hope you enjoy them. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, easy lemon decor for the transition period from spring to summer and all times summer freshness. Thank you so much everybody for your time.